Thane Bryling, at your service. It ain't true what they say about you and and the Dark Brotherhood, is it? Menada. Chapter 1. Sankrator and the Birth of Braman. In those days the Empire of the Cyrodiils was dead, save in memory only, for through war and slug famine and inquisitous rulers, iniquitous rulers, the West split from the East, and Lobia's estrangement lasted some four hundreds of years and the earth was sick with this sundering. Once were the western kings of Anvo and Sarchal, of Falkri and Delodil, became through pride and habit as like thief barons and forgot covenant. In the heartland things are no better as Arcanus and false moth princes lay in drugged stupor or in the studies of vileness, and no one sat on the throne in dusted generations. Snakes and the warnings of snakes went unheeded, and the land bled with ghosts and deepest holes unto cold arbors. It is said that even the Shemel, Ab Adab Adabal, the amulet of kings of glory, had been lost, and its people saw no reason to find it. It was in this darkness that King Oral set out from the lands beyond the lost will, with a sortie of questing knights numbering eighteen less one, all of them western sons and daughters, for Harol had seen in his visions the snakes to come, and sought to heal all the borders of his forebears, and to his host appeared at last a spirit who resembled none other than Al Astia, queen of ancient times, who bore in her left hand the dragon fire of Akatosh, and in her right hand the jewels of the covenant, and on her breast the wound that split void unto her mangled feet. And seeing El Estia and Shimel, Adabal, Harol, and his knights wailed and set to their knees and prayed for all things to become as right. Unto them the spirit said, I am a healer of all men, and the mother of dragons. But as you have run so many times from me, so shall I run until you learn my pain, which renders you in this land dead. And the spirit fled from them, and they split among the hills and forests to find her, all grieving that they had become a villainous people. Haral and his shield bane were the only ones to find her, and the king spoke to her, saying, I love you, sweet Elas, sweet wife of Shor and Aureal and the sacred bull, and would render this land alive again, not through pain, but through the return of the dragon fires of covenant, to join east and west and throw off all ruin. And the shield thane bore witness to the spirit opening naked to his king, carving on nearby rock the words, 
and Kral did love unto a hillock before dying in the sight of their union. When the fifteen other knights saw King Harald, they saw him dead after his labors against a mound of mud, and they parted each in their way. Some went mad, and the two that returned to their homeland beyond Twill would say nothing of Harald and act ashamed for him. But after nine months that mound of mud became as a small mountain, and there were whispers among the shepherds and bulls, a small community of believers gathered round that growing hill during the days of its first churning, and they were first to name it the Golden Hill, Sancrator, and it was the shepherdess, said Yenna, who dared climb the hill when she heard his first cry, and as peak she saw what it had yielded, an infant, she named Rama, which is light of man, and in the child's forehead was the Shemel Adabal, alive with dragon fires of yore and divine promise, and none dared obstruct said Yenna when she climbed the steps of the white gold tower to place the babe Rama on the throne, where he spoke as an adult, saying, I am Cyrodiil, come. Chapter 2 The Chevalier Renal, Blade of the Pig And in the days of Interdnam, the Shemal Adabal was lost again amid the petty wars of gone heathen kings, west and east knew no union then, and all the lands outside them saw Cyrodiil as a nest of snake men and snakes, and for four more hundreds of years did the seat of Ramon stay sundered, with only the machinations of a group of loyal knights keeping its borders from throwing wide. These loyal knights did go by no name then, but were known by their eastern swords and painted eyes, and it was whispered that they were descended from the bodyguard of the old remnant. One of their number, called Chevalier Renald, discovered the prowess of Kulakain, and then supported him towards the throne. Only later would it be revealed that Renald did this thing to come closer to Talos and on Stormcrown, the glorious yet empire Tiber Septum, only later still that he was under instruction by a pig. Long glory was wife to all the knights of the Dragon Banner, who knew no other, and were brothers before many seas, and now were brothers under law, named the Blade Surrender of Pale Pass, and having vampire blood, these brother knights lived for ages through the past, Remon and his then kept guard over his ward. The coiled king, Versidu Shai, the snake captain Vershu became, Renald became the protector of the northern west when the black dart was hooked into Severian Korak. Here torn pages indicate that the rest of this ancient book has been lost.